All right, so real quick, so uh, so you so you think you could dance watching Wildebeest on there? He's doing killing it, right? Yeah, killing it. And you uh, are dancing tonight, and Wildebeest kind of choreographed with you, right? Yeah, he choreographed uh, this piece for me, and uh, it was perfect fit because I love it, and I hope the crowd loves it, and it's just gonna be really hyped tonight. Yes, uh, you get nervous still, or dancing is like second nature now? Now it's just kind of it's all about having fun, really. I get on the stage, and everything takes over. I mean, the nerves come in the beginning, but as soon as you step on the stage. The nerves go away, and I just uh, love uh, performing for the crowd. Now, you've been doing a lot. I know you've been uh, on uh, Off-Broadway and doing acting and stuff. Has that been a cool, kind of, like, different part of your career? Yeah, it was different because it was uh, mostly, like, strictly acting uh, gig that I've actually done, and it was very fun. I got to uh, dance on the play, so I kept, kept it to myself. But, uh, yeah, uh, the short film was even more fun. I got a lead role in that, and uh, that was, I was, it was fun doing that. And I know also you've been in the studio like recording music, so you're trying to do the whole Chris Brown three like every career. Right? You know, triple threat, triple threat. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I've been working in the studio on some songs and just trying to get them out there. Just hope, hopefully, see how they turn out. Absolutely. All right, let's ask some fun questions. So, what's the last song that got stuck in your head that you were singing to? Uh, Hideaway. I forget the artist, but the the song's name is Hideaway, and it's like it's just a catchy song. I don't know. We'll have to Google it. Yeah, you definitely have to Google it. Uh, what is the like? What is the first thing you do like with your phone? Like, do you go on apps? Do you text people? Like, what's the first thing you do when you get on your phone? As soon as I unlock my phone, I go straight to Instagram. <laughs> Instagram? <laughs> yeah, okay. Instagram, that's, that's and right scroll down there for like like a good hour or so, yeah. and just like check out everything. So yeah. How does how does someone get your attention on Instagram? Um, I don't know. Like, it's like something that like interests me. Like either like a car or something like that. Fashion. Uh, something to do with music. If it's a video, I'd automatically click on it because, you know, videos are interesting. I always watch them, so yeah. Are you still single? Yes, of course. Best thing a girl can do uh, personality-wise and looks-wise? Um, something corny. Something corny to try to, like, pick me up. I'd laugh and then I'd finally catch her attention and be like, oh, wow. And uh, what was the next question? What was like, that? Looks-wise, uh, best thing? Looks-wise. I would say... Eyes and hair, Eyes and, and hair. actually the way they dress. If they come, if they're coming around, they look like a like a like, like a bum and be like. <laughs> but if they're like dressed pretty nice, I would definitely like that. And then last question: What is uh, like your favorite um, like style icon? Like who do you look up to style wise? I would say, hmm, that's a hard question. I'll just definitely say Mr. Wiggles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, Great, great popper, like like the best of his kind, and uh, I talk like fashion wise. Like oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. I thought you meant like style, like yeah. freestyle. All right. Anyway, style wise, fashion. Um, I gotta say, Big Sean. Big Sean's got some pretty good style, so I like. Ariana, so I can't be bad. Yeah, yeah, right. He's gotta be doing something right. All right, it's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you, man. So we're going to watch you on stage, kill it, and then uh, hit us up when you're on the West Coast again, Mr. East Coast. No doubt, no doubt.